let's understand what is the effect of force let's take a football field and I will use this to illustrate all the impacts of force let's say this is what a football field is this is the center point and let's say this is the ball now there are three players okay or let's say there are four players the blue ones represent one team and the yellow ones or the orange ones represent the second team yes this is creating a little bit of a confusion let's say this is the ball now when the game starts let's say this guy comes from here and kicks the ball okay so the ball starts moving in this direction and reaches to this person okay as the ball was moving here this person hits the ball towards the goal post but what happens is that this guy suddenly comes here and stops the ball on this side right so in this line let's understand what are the effects of force let's call these people as a b c and d so the first impact was of force was when a kicked the ball okay so what did he achieve by doing this what a achieved was that he made a stationary stationary means something which is fixed which is not moving ball to move now here ball is the object so the first impact of effect of force is that it can make a stationary object to move okay second the second force was applied when B while the ball was moving hit it the ball he again kicked the ball so the kick from B what did it do it made the moving object which is ball move faster so let's say when a had kicked the ball it was moving at 10 kilometers per hour when b hit it it increased the speed to 15 kilometer per hour so the second impact of force is that it can make the moving object move faster okay third impact happened when C who is this player stopped the ball okay so what did he do he applied force on the moving ball which was going towards the goal post and he stopped it or maybe he could have slowed it down so force can stop or slow down a moving object okay fourth impact now just note here that when A had struck the ball it was going moving like this if B wouldn't have come the ball would have straight away gone like this and would have go gone outside the playing area but by applying force what B did was on this moving ball he made it to move in this direction so the fourth impact of force is that it can change direction of moving object okay so this is the fourth impact and let's take the last impact of force force can also change 
shape or size of object now what happens let's say there is a balloon okay when you apply force to the balloon let's say this is of this shape it might ch change something like this okay or it may burst and become something like this so by applying force you have changed the shape or size of the object and this is true for many other cases you know so these are some of the impacts or the effects of force that can take place